Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the Westworld season 4 finale. First of all, I want to tell you that if you want early access to videos or want to see this reaction uncut, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. You can find my full reaction to this episode there. So check that out if you're interested. I gotta say I am kind of nervous about how this is all gonna end, but I'm quite sure we're gonna get another season, so I'm not too worried about that. But I don't know. The last thing we saw was that there was like total chaos everyone was fighting we also saw frankie reunite with caleb but we also saw that so many people died or well host died Maeve, charlotte bernard so that was like three of the og characters actually and to be honest i don't really agree with that like i get that you want to kill like one character for like the dramatic effect or something but i mean when bernard died as well as like the third og character in a row i was like i don't know i couldn't even be sad anymore i was sad but at the same moment i was like then they're gonna bring them back they can't just kill three of those beloved characters and not bring them back. So I'm kind of curious to see how they're gonna do that. Yeah, the very last thing we saw was that Man in Black was in charge now. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue watching. Also, I said I was maybe gonna do this reaction with Finn, but Finn canceled yesterday. So I'm just gonna do it alone. But yeah, I'm scared and excited at the same time. So I'm just gonna watch real quick because yeah, let's see where this is going. Yeah, I think this is the outcome. Okay. Wait, have we seen him yet? In this episode? In this season, I mean? He's having a time of his life. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that didn't take very long. Did they really just bring him back for like 10 seconds? Who is that? What? Who is he? What the? This, this is so chaotic. Are we being introduced to new characters or is this just someone else who's also gonna die? Who is he? Okay, see, it didn't matter as well. See, it all led back to him. Every time I was like, oh, a new character, and fucking then in camper. like, fucking camper. You know the rules. <laughs> what it takes all. I hate Westworld. <laughs> they can't keep doing shit to my brain. What about Maeve? Okay, okay. Make me stronger. Leave my scars. Fuck. Kill my face. Oh. I blame my one to know. It's me who killed him. Fucking hell. Okay, this calms me down a bit because if they can bring back Charlotte, they can also bring back Maeve and Bernard. Show me please. Because that went quite easily. He's made everyone as insane as himself. Oh. everything in their path. So that's basically just William. And we've seen him in Westworld. He just kills everyone and everything and he's just kind of crazy. And now everyone's like that. I hadn't thought about it like that. What the fuck is this? <laughs> You're seeing this, it needs me even I have Dolores. You are real because your thoughts are real. Do you remember this? <laughs> the maze. <clears throat> the maze. What does it mean? It was a map of consciousness. I rewatched full season one last week. Did you leave it for me to wake me once again? No, it must have been someone else. Who? I'm supposed to be in here all alone. Was it Charlotte? Does she want her to remember? People in my life. Pick a side, Chrissy. The good and the bad. Who is the one? You made me do Who are they? I want to write a new story. Oh, this scene. About a girl. A girl. 
girl who was searching. It was me. Hale didn't design Maya and Peter and all the others that kept me company in my world. I did it. What the fuck? So I made myself a friend. What? You're up. I was trying to make sense of myself. So I talked to myself in the voices of others. So all this time it was just herself. <laughs> Honestly, this season is so good. I need to wake myself up. I was too afraid to face any of this until you came along. Teddy. Finally back together. But I still like. This time, only for one more. Who week. sent Teddy then? But it isn't yours. Was that also her? Don't ruin their moments. Fuck, that's the city. Everything looks so fake now. This is so cool. What's happening? It's so fucked up. She can't take this away. This is my world. That's fucking scary. That guy looks like the maze too. Waiting for us forever. We have to get to the docks. Quick word. You'll tell us experiments, they never talk. Does she even know what's happening to you? <clears throat> I mean, this is all you're doing. Mm. You started it. <laughs> oh. Finally got what you wanted. Claire. You brought William back thinking you could keep him as your pet. You were wrong. Literally everyone said that in the beginning. He's too dangerous to keep alive and she did that. And you won't be welcome there. Who said anything about cohabitating? Good luck. Clementine. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing that she finally gets to go her own way. I feel like Charlotte was a bit too easy about it, but... Sure, Clementine deserves all the happiness in the world. She's a baby. <laughs> Music. Everyone's hunting him down. Oh, that's him, right? Yeah. I love how they brought back all the old hosts, even though it's only for like 10 seconds every time. I won't let you destroy their world like you destroyed this one. So you're enjoying my game? I'm delighted. Don't pretend like you're the good guy now, Charlotte. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's kind of giving me Walking Dead vibes. A lot of the painkillers, but it's the best I can do. Look at that. Sure, they drink with my daughter. I mean, the last time you saw her, she was like eight. You can ask, you know. Mom? The answer. She hung in there as long as she could. Aww. Everyone that was infected or woke up and got out, I was that to mom. She carried your torch. Your mother was. Extraordinary. Bah. I'm gonna need you to think out your thoughts, okay? You can't suffer shit. <laughs> I've done my best. Oh, that song is what the it's episode is called, right? Yeah. I guess I sang it to you before bed. You know, in my mind, it's only been a few days. I was just reading a story and then. I feel like even though he's a host, she's kind of lucky to get him back even though it's maybe for like a few seconds, minutes, days. And she finally got some answers now, what she's been looking for her entire life, so... Oh, 
Clementine. Oh, so that's how Stubbs dies. Damn, that came out of nowhere. I thought she was gonna live a peaceful life by herself, and now she's hunting our main characters. I think we're concerned about yourself right now, if I were you. Clem! I fucking I love you, but don't. Them. You don't have any love, do you? I want to go there too. Why would she trust you? I'll die before I tell you. I mean, maybe no. if you, there was like another approach. You will die after you tell me. Have it your way. You did quite well. No. No, 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 leave him! You were wrong. I have one bullet left. Yeah, normally I would be really sad because it's Clementine and I really love Clementine, but I didn't want Caleb or Frankie to die, especially right after they reunited. So, oh shit! And that's what I choose to see. We see the beauty in this world. Yes, I know a human. <laughs> I thought you might. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I see. You're as broken as the man you killed. William's pathetic human body's rotting away, but he didn't die. His impulses live on. I was a better William than he was. William didn't die. He evolved. I am William. Isn't this the same oh, music yeah. in season one when he's like, I'm gonna tell well, you what you happened to William. I knew someone named William. I think it is. The reference. Oh. Now we get a fight with Charlotte and William. That wasn't a long fight though. It's honestly so funny to me that literally every human that was once in the show is a host now. Either dead or a host. Literally the only human we've left is Frankie. And she only came in this season. Bernard, Maeve, Dolores, they all wanted freedom for you. Thought they were coming back. This isn't the world that I wanted. But it's the world you created. The question is, what happens next? Bring them back, please! Life on Earth is a test, run by her. If she chooses to reach with your left hand. A test, run by her, if she chooses to. And I do. I choose to give her the chance. I hope she takes it. Who are we talking about, Dolores? Oh, well, that was William then, I guess. Are we ever gonna see him back now? I don't know. I feel like they're gonna get separated again. Something's gonna happen to Caleb or he's not coming. Little more chemistry this episode. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Oh, cute. Meeting his daughter's girlfriend. Nah, he's not coming. See? This is as far as I go. Why? You're dying, right? Your father died long ago. I got to live every parent's greatest dream. I got to see my child grow up. I love you. I don't know why I get so emotional from the Frankie and Caleb shit. Just the story is so fucked up, but so cute that they got to see each other again after all those years, even though he's a host. Goodbye, Dolores. Mm. I made my choice. Goodbye, Dolores.
but I can only do it because you came back. I just love them no, together. When you see the world most clean, They're just the old best. school Westworld couple, Teddy and Dolores. You're my cornerstone. And you and Molly. I carry you with me everywhere I go, which is how I was able to bring you back like this. See? Oh. I told you. I'm not here, am I? Bad dream? What? This whole thing seems like a bad dream, except you. Why are you here? I'm here to tell you the truth about what we are. What are we? Oh my god! <laughs> Season 1 Dolores though! Teddy is real. And he's out there somewhere in the sublime. You're just my memory of him. I'm still out there. Come find me. Memory has haunted you. I mean, at this moment, isn't that like the best come. thing you can do? Just but go the there and... Don't bring the flaws of their kind into our world. Watch the people in their world for years. I've seen the best of them and the worst of them. The codes are in them themselves and they'll never change. We could still see one final test. Game of my own making. The same way I brought you back. I remember. This fucking show, it's so good. <laughs> Was that it? Really? No? What, that was not it? Okay, good. Because it gives me more. Ooh. New song. Cool, with the brown hair. I don't think so, but sometimes season finales of Westworld do have that. But holy shit. 
no there is no after credit scene okay honestly like the feeling i have now it's like it's not the same as the season one finale but i gotta see say season two and three they never got me like that i think season four is officially like my second favorite season it is so good I just, I don't know where to start with like reviewing this shit, but uh I mean just to see like Westworld again, even though I do think she's in the sublime now. So that ending right back where we started, that is just, it's so good. I have no words for it. Like I think the last 10 minutes of this episode just had me screaming and crying constantly. It was just so good <laughs> i am so happy this this show makes me so happy like even though it's so fucked up and sometimes i'm like everything is just going wrong but at the same time I'm like this is so good so good like during the episode i kind of got flashbacks to like seven weeks ago i think when the first episode of the season came out and um i was watching it with finn and we were like we were so confused like, how are they ever gonna explain all of this? How are they gonna make this a logical thing? Where the fuck did Teddy come from? Where is Dolores? Why is she called Christina? Who were these people? And then in like eight episodes, they made such a good story. Westworld is, I think Westworld is honestly just my favorite show at the moment. And I think it has been since 2019 when I watched it for the first time. I can't believe I, I started to watch this show through an Instagram poll. Because I was like, I don't have anything to react to anymore. Um, just write some shows down and then, then you can vote which show I'm going to react to. And then someone was like, Westworld. And then I did the voting and Westworld was like the third most voted show. But the first two weren't really like my thing. And I was like, Westworld. And look where we are now. <laughs> it's insane I don't know, it's also the music It's the characters For some reason when I watch Westworld Or when I listen to Westworld music It just makes me romanticize my entire existence Even though it's like a show about literally robots taking over the world So I don't know why I romanticize my life because of Westworld But it's just the vibe, it's the music And Dolores I'm just in love with Dolores. Maybe that's it. <sighs> Fucking hell. So many emotions right now. I, I gotta say season four is definitely my second favorite season now. Of course, nothing can ever beat season one. And also, I'm, I'm so happy or like... I'm just glad I rewatched full season one uh, last week. It was like Finn's girlfriend. She had never seen Westworld before. And then we were like... But you got it. And then we just binged the full first season and um, especially the, the finale. We especially watched that together. The moment they just revealed who Man in Black was, Finn and I were like, it's coming. And then Robin didn't expect anything. And it was so much fun. Just watching Westworld with someone who hasn't seen it before is so much fun. So yeah, because I rewatched it all last week, it's all fresh in my mind right now. The thing is, with every episode I watched from season four, I viewed the first season differently. It was like we have so much more information of where this is going now that I see all these things in the beginning that actually look so important. I see them so different. It's it's insane. I think the storyline I enjoyed most was, like I said, the Lords of storyline. It was from the first episode when we had the video games cover that was it was it was good and it made me so intrigued with her storyline especially because teddy was back and because i constantly wanted to know where he came from i for the full season i honestly thought that charlotte was the one who sent him to like make her remember because she had some sort of plan maybe and then in the end it was just herself just like all the other characters in her world actually she just sent them all herself <sighs> fucking crazy I feel like this is gonna be a really long review, but I gotta express all of my emotions. What I am kind of sad about is that Maeve, Clementine, and Bernard, and also Charlotte now, and Man in Black, William, everyone's dead now. So, 
what about that? I mean, we are gonna get a fifth season, right? Okay, yeah, there are speculations that there is gonna be a fifth season, but there's also like rumors that it might be the last season. But that calms me down a bit because I wasn't prepared for this to be the ending. Yeah, I'm just glad there's probably gonna be another season, so that's good. I just really hope that they'll bring at least some of, at least Maeve. Give me Maeve back at least. I mean, what is this show without her? She's so badass. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not completely like fine with the fact that so many of the OG characters died. At the same time, I'm like, they did that in season two as well. And then a lot of them got brought back. So, of course you never know with Westworld, but now it's waiting for at least a year, I think. Maybe even two years. Or was that because of COVID that it took longer? I don't know, but it's gonna be at least a year, maybe even more. And we're like thinking right now that they're dead and I don't really like that idea. I also um, just saw this picture of um, season three and I was like how Reboam um, predicted that humanity would end in 50 to 125 years. The way they just like predicted all of that, that's just also insane to me i feel like a lot of people they're like i hate season three season two is bad what has become of this show it was even in the first two episodes of this season people were, were still complaining about the show but now i'm like but if you look back at all of that it was just necessary to get where we are now like i said too season two and three didn't give me that wow feeling that i'm feeling now but it was necessary and I don't know, I don't think without that we ever could have gotten where we are now. Yeah, I'm just really looking forward to a new season. And just the fact that it's probably gonna happen in Westworld now again, because Dolores recreated Westworld. Um, that's just amazing to me. I feel like it's a really good choice also from the writers, because a lot of people were always mad that we were not in the real Westworld anymore and that it was not like it used to be. So I feel like to get like one final season and make it happen in Westworld again, to end it there, I think that's a really smart choice. And I don't know, I'm just really looking forward to that. I think that is gonna be really good too. So yeah, I'm just really happy with what they did. Also the fact that Charlotte, once that was just a version of Dolores and the way that version of Dolores evolved into that, while Dolores was like Christina, it's a mind blow. And yeah, and then in the end she made her choice too. So she's actually dead too now. She destroyed her pearl. That was a cool scene though. Or like the shot at least. The way she was sitting there with that robot body. Yeah. They really blew me away this season. They really did. I have nothing else but positivity for this. I love Westworld so much. I guess I'm just gonna continue thinking about Westworld for the whole day. Um, I might watch some videos about it, some behind the scenes shit if they release that. I'm just in such a Westworld phase right now and because I just rewatched season one, I'm thinking of just rewatching season two as well now and then just watch the full show and also rewatch four again. There is, um, like I'm sad Westworld is ending now, but there is some good news because in a week House of the Dragon is coming out. And of course, I'm very excited about that too. I mean, the way Game of Thrones changed my life when I was literally 13 is fucking insane. And now we're getting a new show in a week. So mixed feelings. I kind of want more Westworld, but we're getting Game of Thrones. That is also pretty cool. So I really hope to see you there. Like I said, if you want to get early access to videos or you want to see uncut videos, like this video, for example, my full Westworld reaction, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Did you like my reaction? Then please leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you thought of it. And then I really hope to see you next week at the House of the Dragon reaction. Bye.